Hey everyone, uh, so this is going to be the format for the videos uh, for at least the foreseeable future but just because news breaks while I'm at work and this is the only way I can really do it so it's on my phone so the quality is going to be uh, awful, at least the, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the camera. Anyway, um, let's run through, Nemesnikov has been traded uh, to the Ottawa Senators uh, for a fourth round pick next year in 2021 and Nick Ebert, uh, who's a defenseman who hasn't yet to play a game in the NHL and is 25 years old so... Um, Let's talk about the trade. So the Rangers uh, pretty much do a cap dump here. I mean, that's that's really what they've done. Um, they had to retain 750000 so they get $3.2 million off the books. I feel like that they think that they've got a good team this year. Didn't really need another languishing forward in the bottom six. I feel like they've got a pretty good setup there, so obviously they're looking to make a bit of a splash at some point this season with another trade, so that extra $3.2 million is going to help them long term. Uh, what they get for it is obviously a fourth round pick, which is a throwaway. I think the percentage of them making it to is less than 10% um, for them to play more than 200 games, so not too much. And Nick Ebert, who... Um, uh, was in the AHL, went to play KHL for a season, SHL for two years, he's a defenseman. Um, seemed to have a really good year in the SHL last time he went there, so I don't know if there's an NHL capable capable player there. Obviously, it's very hard to find those sort of details, but he did have a lot of points. He was almost a point a game. I think he was 10 shy of a point a game um, in Sweden, so that's, that, I mean, that's a pretty good effort. Um, I tried to reach out to some people in the one uh, game that he played for Belleville uh, this year, but um, obviously didn't hear back from them in time. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm not sure. Maybe there's something there. I mean, probably worth it if, if he can make the roster and and, um, and bolster up the defense, even if he's like the ninth or tenth um, player in the system for that. Um, so really, it's more just a cap dump. Um, for the Ottawa side of things, this is... Uh, <sighs> A flip-flop on it. Um, although his best season's 48 points, they're really struggling with forwards, and I feel like they have a mismatch of bottom uh, six forwards to deal with the, being the top six, um, along with Kachuk. So uh, this just sort of adds to that. If he can get 50 points, I feel like it might be a win. I just I, I don't understand it. I mean, the price is cheap. He's a free agent at the end of the year, so it obviously fits the bill of we need people now to just be on the ice um so yeah so it's a weird trade i like what the rangers have done i'm obviously this is just someone for a stopgap for ottawa so um for both parties what they wanted seems to be pretty good but obviously um the rangers uh with uh losing some cap uh does very well in this and it'll be interesting to see if there's another move down the road uh, with their new inherited cap space so yeah so stay tuned on the rangers don't sleep on them uh they're probably not done yet um and we'll see what they can do anyway guys thank you so much for watching uh hit the like button always hit subscribe tell me what you think of the new format i know it's not fantastic but it is what it is um otherwise uh, make sure you subscribe to the podcast it's hockey night it's kind of fun it's fun it's fun i don't care what you say it's fun Anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching. Comment down below who do you think won the trade or, or what do you think of the trade. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one. It's one of those trades for trade sakes, but I think it's one of those... A lot of people are saying it's trade for trade sakes, but I feel like it's one of those bigger picture trades for the Rangers and for the Ottawa. They, they just need people. They just they, Honestly, they just need people. So, um, yeah, so it works in that sense. All right, guys, thanks. Bye.